Okay, guys, the watch list for Wednesday, November 11th. Um, let's start with GENE. Had a really nice pop here from two to almost four. Now we're down four days in a row, back down to the eight day. Um, a little below the eight day. I want to watch this one for a turn back up on uh, Wednesday tomorrow. TRUE, kind of similar. Had a breakout here, two days lower. Time to watch that one for a turn back up. Only with a proper intraday setup on any of these. Keep uh, As a reminder, I do not hold overnight, so every trade I take is on an intraday basis, and then I'm back to cash. So um, I, I spend a good portion of my time stalking setup based on what I'm showing you here and based on also gap plays that we find in the morning, news plays as the day uh, goes on, and also setups of stocks that are maybe getting killed um, trading them as reversal setup. So that is my uh, MO, and then I'm, like I said, back to cash. So, um, and here's another one, CYBR, three days in a row down, um, down to the, basically the August lows, probably took that out by a little bit, but uh, this is down 10 bucks in three days. I wanna keep my eyes on CYBR for a bounce, C-E-R-N. Um, this one I have on bounce watch too. I would really like to see it come down to 58 or you can see down here it actually came down to 57.42. Um, if we get anywhere near 58, I'm gonna be watching for an intraday reversal on that one. Um, that's C-E-R-N-E-F-O-I. Again, this one is kind of, um, I don't love, this is probably my least favorite on the list, but uh, you had this crazy breakout. And now since then, if I switch to 15 minute candles, um, the very next day it opened right here never broke its early high. The next day, gapped up, but never broke its early high. The next day, it started to get quiet, um, but never broke its opening 15 minute high. And then same thing today. So if we can get um, kind of an afternoon high of day break after a narrow range, this one might get people piling in, but looking at the daily chart, I'm much less than in love with that one. STRP just goes back on bounce watch. I took uh, actually a trade in this one this morning as a gap play, made a little bit of money in it, um, and then I was back out flat the rest, but it, this one is pretty darn interesting. Um, considering it was 50 bucks, uh, maybe what, two, three weeks ago. And now it's down near 10. Um, and had a really nice pop. You can see what it can do when, when stocks are this beaten up, you can get these massive, very short term, high percentage moves. So that's why I have, um, STRP on a watch for a bounce play. Um, S P H S. Huge move today, huge move. I mean, they closed at like 80 something cents and then went up to almost 380. Closed significantly below its open today, but with 25 million shares trading hands, um, I'm just gonna keep this one on watch tomorrow and probably several days going forward. I, I really don't know what to expect from it, but if we get an intraday setup that meets my parameters, again, just by having it on a chart and being ready to go, I can make some money if I get the proper setup. Men's Warehouse, um, really beaten up, MW. Um, down to the bottom of its range since the gap down. If you go to five minute candles, you see it had a nice high volume spike, I think on insider buy news um, in the afternoon. Didn't have much time left for this to rally and then it kind of flagged after that. But um, So if it gets over today's high, which was 22.24 if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna put in my notes 22.25 next to MW. Um, that's one possible catalyst. And then back on the daily, that would be taking out, um, you know, today's little narrow range and maybe it starts to head back up. Um, again, I'm mostly interested in it because I like that, how quickly that got a big spike on volume. It tells me that maybe shorts um, are gonna be pretty quick to cover on any kind of uh, decent news. Um, but I really like that, 250,000 shares in about five minutes. Um, whenever I see something do that, and it's already really far away from moving averages and, and beaten up, um, it has my attention because I know that I might be able to get a quick trade out of it. Um, ICON, uh, this was on watch today. I didn't do anything with it. Um, you know, back down to the bottom of the range and the green candles. It looks a little bit like that MW. Uh, I want to watch that one for a potential continuation of today's bounce. That's the wrong one. And then Pandora, the letter P had this huge gap down and it's in a range from here to here. Let me get that off. That's an old line. Um, spiked here and then right back up to the highs from a few days ago. As beaten up as this one is, um, over today's high, over 13.15, uh, it might get going and maybe make a move toward the top of this range. So that's the letter P, Pandora. And then WPCS, um, just a quiet little bump today. All right, so this isn't 313,000 shares. So um, this isn't all that interesting to me, except that it's had great support back here, here. I mean, this area, 
that it just kind of is peeking out of to the upside has been great support. And this thing gets these spikes at times, right? Um, maybe something's up here, but I really um, would much rather trade this if and when I get news, but we'll see. We'll keep it on watch. Um, it's also probably one of my least favorite that in um, <clears throat> EFOI, probably my two least favorite from that list. We will be stalking as a team gappers in the pre-market as well tomorrow um, and also intraday reversal plays as they set up. Pretty good at identifying those when they're setting up. So um, that's it. I'll leave it at that and uh, have a good day. By the way, tomorrow is Veterans Day. I'm fairly certain that that's a bank holiday. Um, so it could be it could be a thin day. Now, sometimes when you get a bank holiday, but the markets are open like a Columbus Day every now and then or so on, sometimes you can get the low floaters will run. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe a lot of people are home from work um, and trading, but um, also it should be a thin day in the market. So, you know, trade a little more lightly than usual, just remembering that, all right? Um, all right, I'll leave it at that, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good night.